It is day one of debate for LB 574, also known as the Let Them Grow Act. The bill would ban transgender care for anyone under 19. Despite motions to kill it, discussion will continue another day. 3 News Now's Ron Johnson reports from Lincoln. Tuesday was the first day of debate for LB 574, otherwise known as the Let Them Grow Act here at the state capitol in Lincoln. We were there as senators began the conversation. This bill has caused a lot of conversation, um, some tension on both sides, and I would like that everybody remember that we're talking about protecting kids. Senator Kathleen Kouth addressed the chamber Tuesday about the bill she introduced that aims to block gender affirming care to Nebraskans under 19. Other senators, both in support of and opposed to it, were quick to respond. I can't in my heart say that I know that every medical professional knows that a 15 or 16 year old child is going to make a decision that affects their whole life. I just don't think they're mature enough to do it. Kids know who they are, and when they get affirmation from their communities and their family members and their schools and their loved ones, as many, many trans and gender expansive kids do today, they're not in pain. You know what? They're normal. It's bad for Nebraska. It's bad for Nebraskans. And it's also bad for us in this body. As senators debated just outside the chambers, you couldn't miss Nebraskans opposed to the bill. I'm not here to make a political statement. I'm not here to make an ideological statement about gender or anything. I'm just trying to live my quiet life. And they're trying to make my life as hard as possible. If supporters of the bill came to the Capitol, we did not see or hear from them. One state senator recited statistics during debate that he said shows most Nebraskans are in favor of the legislation. After three hours of discussion, the legislative session adjourned around noon. Debate is set to pick up again Wednesday morning, starting at 9 a.m. At the state capitol in Lincoln, Ron Johnson, 3 News Now.